Haven't done any fast work this morning, probably far too heavy for that. But as we said, the Investec Derby goes back to 1780, and Investec itself has been sponsoring since 2009, when See the Stars was Victoria. So here we are on Epsom Downs, courtesy of Jim Boyle and his team. And we're going to take a look, a detailed look, at the field for the 2019 renewal of the Investec Derby with the gypsies and all the people preparing themselves for this monumental occasion, the greatest flat race in the world. After having awoken at Epsom to a rather grey and miserable day, it's turned out to be an absolutely glorious afternoon here at Brighton and we've come to see O'Sheen Murphy ride, mainly because he's riding a horse called Telecaster, who's a son of New Approach, will be running in the Investec Derby on Saturday after having been supplemented to the tune of 85,000 British pounds. Of course, Huey Morrison, very pleased with the work that he did on Monday morning. And we are now going to have an opportunity to chat to O'Sheen about this monumental occasion in his life. He's only 23 years old, but has already ridden four grade one winners on Roaring Line and several other really good horses. But let's, without any further ado, catch up with O'Sheen Murphy to find out about his day on Saturday on a horse called Telecaster. There's so many things that have happened in your short life, but um, I think Roaring Line would probably have to be at the top. He's carried you to many great grade one victories. Yeah, he's a very special horse and he's doing very well at stud, thank God. Uh, I won four group ones on him last year and he was an also a very good two-year-old, so it's fantastic to be part of him and I hope he's a brilliant success as a stallion. Well, I suppose he's the kind of horse that everybody dreams of having, but um, I think that Huey Morrison must be beside himself with the excitement and the joy of actually having a horse that is capable of running in the Investec Derby. And it's not just a case of having a runner. He is a very real contender. Yes, yeah, so Huey trained his dam, uh, Telecaster's mother, Scirocco Star, and she was second in a English Oaks at Epsom. So obviously he's very much bred for the job. This guy has come a long way in a very short period of time. He was second in a maiden at Doncaster and he followed up by breaking his maiden at Windsor and then he was an impressive winner of the Group 2 Dante Stakes at York. Obviously we're very excited about him and hopefully he can stay in one piece and all goes well uh, to the Derby on Saturday. Well obviously it's quite a short space of time from the, uh, the Dante Stakes, it's only 16 days but clearly the work on Monday was the deciding factor and that was very positive I understand. We didn't do anything crazy on Monday morning, but we did a nice piece over five furlongs on grass with Marmello, who's a Group 2 winner, and he felt in brilliant order. So long may that continue, and hopefully we get a clear run into the race. Well, obviously for you there's pressure, but there's no pressure because you're taking on the might of Coolmore with several runners from the O'Brien yard. Which one's the right one? Nobody's really quite sure. But you know that you have a legitimate horse that's beaten a horse that was the champion two-year-old and he fought him off really well. Yeah, Telecaster beat Two Down Hot decisively in his last start. Obviously, Two Down Hot was beaten in the Guineas in Ireland last weekend, but look, don't take anything away from that form. It's very strong. Aidan has numerous runners in the race. I've spent two summers as a child in Ballydoyle, so I'm very familiar with everyone there. And uh, it's a challenge, but I'm used to it at this stage. Well, far be it for me to be critical of the duration of time from the Dante Stakes to the, the Irish race, but I'm just thinking maybe it was a little bit too soon for a horse like Two Don Hot and that that form can be drawn a line through. Yeah, I suppose John and, you know, and, uh, and Andrew Lloyd Webber and Lady Lloyd Webber um, felt it was the right decision at the time and they had nothing to lose, I suppose. But, uh, but look, hopefully we'll see Two Don Hot back to his best later in the year. Well, I think maybe what they were thinking is that they get that second run under the belt and then all clear for Ascot. Yeah, perhaps. I suppose the St. James's Palace Race Championship for three-year-olds, Group 1 round a bend, and um, he goes there as one of the leading chances. So let's see how he does there. The pomp and circumstance of Epsom is something that is quite unique. It's a cauldron. Uh, does he have the temperament, in your opinion, to handle all that pre-race jubilation? So every horse in the race will get very warm down at the start. It's a mile and a half to post. The atmosphere is incredible there and it will get to them. But hopefully he'll get down there semi-OK and, uh, and we can save his energy for the race. And I guess finally there's one beautiful similarity between this horse Telecaster and Australia. They're both by Derby winners out of Oaks winners. 
That's true. Yeah, very strong kind of Coolmore pedigrees. New approach is by Galileo. Uh, Australia was by Galileo as well. So, look, uh, very interesting. I hope I'm on the right horse on Saturday. I'm only 23, but it's a fantastic opportunity. We're eternally grateful to you for your time, and we wish you a very, very successful day on Investec Derby Day. Thank you very much, Andrew.